welcome to this virtual gathering uh, instead of the usual annual gathering at Solby Tower because of <coughs> Covid restrictions and uh, so this year we're doing this by video uh, thanks to our webmaster Frank Laura. I am David Hanney, a retired family doctor, uh, at one time head of a medical school department um, and uh, <coughs> I became chief in 2004 uh, after my uh, father died. With me today is Wendy Ronan, who has been warden of Solby Tower for almost 40 years. <coughs> Wendy was brought up in a, in a farm near here, and after moving away, she came back again. And uh, she was during that time in the police force, so she's been uh, actually guarding Solby Tower, as well as maintaining the grounds, but uh, making sure that vandals don't do uh, any damage, uh, and indeed uh, people walking their dogs, leaving a mess. Um, She's here almost every day and uh, the whole of the grounds and how they're kept and maintained is largely due to her. Uh, <coughs> the other warden is Stephen Hanna, <coughs> he's also our clan convener. Uh, he has organised events here such as weddings and reenactments and also a very successful um, hoppy, poppy day um, uh, celebration uh, on, in November and this was one of the, Sorby was one of the top ten sites in Scotland. He's also arranged for the new toilet block, which is uh, behind uh, the cameras there, and for the uh, temporary roof on Sorby Tower behind me. And David Hanna, um, the constable of the tower, is often here and has been coming down for many years, helping with the upkeep of the grounds. Briefly, I will say something about the Can Hanny Society, <coughs> which was formed in 1960 to promote interest and fellowship um, between those with the names of Hanny, uh, spelt H-A-N-N-A-Y, Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, Hannah, H-A-N-N-A, and Hanny, H-A-N-N-E-Y, and their relatives. And these were the ways in which the family name was spelt in the old parish records of Wigtonshire. The clan society now has over 600 members, of whom half, are, or over half, are in North America. Another objective of the Clan Hanny Society is to preserve Sorby Tower, which was built by Alexander Hanny in about 1550 and when the Hannys were influential in Wigtonshire. He also brought the property of Curdle across Wigton Bay, where my family still live. As a result of uh, local feuding, Sorby Tower was sold and uh, eventually abandoned in 1748 after which it became ruinous. And if we look here, this is what it might have looked like uh, in the 15th, 16th and 17th century. <coughs> and there would have been buildings around it. And uh, <coughs> the reason why Solby Tower was built here is because it's on raised ground and it's surrounded or was surrounded by marshland, um, which protected it from attack. And indeed, in the woods here, or just, uh, <coughs> A few hundred yards away there's a well and a drain comes from the or pipe comes from the um, from the well to the castle where there's an underground system uh, for water. In, uh, in 1965 the tower, uh, Sorby Tower, was donated to the Clanhanny Society and since when we have worked uh, to conserve a ruin including two Heritage Rotary Fund grants which enabled it to be scaffolded and we could uh, conserve the wall heads. However, the building again became dangerous and after a feasibility study, we launched an appeal to restore the tower so that it could bring in an income by being let out. Um, and that would enable it to be, its future to be assured because it would bring in a stream of income for its maintenance. And this has happened to quite a few castles in Scotland. The appeal was launched um, in 2015 uh, with a reception in the House of Lords in London and also in 2017 the clan went to New York and took part in the Tartan Week Parade. So far some funds have allowed uh, some structural repairs and a temporary roof which you can see now and this has allowed the building to dry out but further work depends upon uh, what funds are available. Until recently Sorby Tower was surrounded by trees which were first planted in about 1900. 
but two years ago the local farmer decided to clear fell the trees for timber and now Solby Tower is as it was originally um, uh, standing on a, a, a mile, a, 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 a slight mound with wonderful views over uh, the rest of Wigtonshire and looking out towards Cairnsmore Fleet, the other side of Wigton Bay. And this would have been how it was when it was originally built. Next to uh, Solby Tower is a much earlier defensive mound called Solby Mott, um, which was a 12th century wooden fort. Perhaps this is the home of Gilbert Daneth, who um, was signed by Ragman's Roll in 1296. In the 14th century, in the wars between the Balliols and Robert the Bruce, the Hannies backed the losing side because they supported the Balliols, who were the um, local uh, uh, rulers. The Hannies fought in the Crusades and also at the Battle of Flodden in 1513, just before Sorby Tower was built. And finally, I'd like to thank Edward and Caroline Lyons for making this video possible. Thank you very much.